Hello and welcome back to my tutorial on how to build a shopping guide in HP.net in C Sharp. This tutorial I'm going to go through the shopping item class. This is a class which creates the inventory of the shopping cart. It is therefore the backbone of the whole application. Uh, it uses the previous class, the DVD class, this one, uh, to create the attributes by using it to get the attributes from the database. The first thing we need to do to start this tutorial is to add another class. Okay, I'm going to call this shopping cart, shopping items. You can name it whatever you like, just so long as it's relevant. We'll call it shopping item. Uh, before, as before, we need to remove some code, that being this, and this, and then using system dot data, using system dot data dot SQL client. Uh, the next thing we have to do is this is going to override uh, the equals method. So what we have to do is inherit the actual equals method, which is done by doing this: I E and then in these brackets, you need to write the name of the class, shopping item. This will be used later on when we override the equals method with the standard ASP.NET uh, objects. This is actually mainly uh, attributes this class. So we'll start off by making the attributes. So the first one is public int. Next one is private means underscore item ID. Next one public. This method, this attribute, is just used to access this private one. Okay. So get is return underscore. And set. As before, we're going to make a public and a private one of the same attribute for protection. This is the actual um, initialization of the DVD. So we create a DVD in this class, and the attributes from it will be used for the shopping item for attributes. If you don't understand, just follow through and you'll understand. Equals new 
in the middle. And then of course, as before, you needed the uh, ID of the movie to use in the constructor. So that's got to be passed in. And then return. This will give it in. Okay. So just to go over that, these uh, lines here, that is actually uh, using the constructor of the DVD class to create a DVD. And now from this, this needs to be done so that we can use the attributes of the DVD for the attributes of the shopping mall. So public string. Synopsis. So basically what this is doing is it's creating the public string for the class of shopping item, which is just simply the return value of the DVD that you've created in here. So this DVD will go to the data constructor, will go to the database, and it will get all the information, and it will create a DVD, and from that DVD object you will get the attributes for this shopping item object by simply using it. I'll just make this quicker and okay, the next one is movie cost. is return using uh, the two values from here, so movie cost. And of course you've got to times that by the quantity. Okay. Next one. Be sure to change these to decimal instead of string. Like the lazy way like I'm doing. Yeah. Copy that. Place that there. And this will be the movie now. Okay. These are all the attributes that you need. So quantity, item ID. Uh, DVD, that's not really you though. Um, the string synopsis, the decimal of the cost, decimal price, string movie name, okay. And from here we will make the actual constructor for this uh, shopping item. So, public shopping item. Equals over there, right there. So that's how you get the uh, 
And then finally, as I was talking about up here, we're going to override the equals method. So how we do that is simply, and this is the only method in the thing, public, cool, because it returns true or false, equals. This shopping item, set some time, and we'll name it TV. Basically, this is saying if the item ID is already there, which is used later on. It's not really used in this class, but it just needs to be in this class so that you can access it. Okay. So, as I said before, this is just uh, sort of the backbone of the general shopping cart. Uh, Items. So you need this to actually make the inventory. And next time I will be showing you the actual shopping cart. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Thanks, goodbye.